Kenneth Lamar Noid enters the picture. Yes. January 30th. 19... Kenneth Lamar Noid? Kenneth Lamar Noid. Was that his real name? That's his... Yes, well, see, I didn't make it up. It. At first, I thought this was going to be kind of humorous, but then it gets a little tragic. Yeah. His last name's Noid? Noid. Yes. His last Noid. name's Noid. N-O-I-D. Really? Same no, spelling. No relation to avoid the Noid. But that's not what he thinks. That, that's not what he thinks. <laughs> Me and Damon are just going back and forth here. Was he working at Domino's? All right, how, about, how about we just let Ethan tell the story? Yes. <laughs> I'm very curious. You're, well, Damon is, might have some extra stuff to thrilling. back me up. This but um, seat hanger. From what I got out of it, from reading news articles and stuff, um, on January 30th, 1989, Kenneth Lamar Noyd entered a Domino's in Atlanta, Georgia, with a 357 Magnum. And held two employees there hostage for five hours. Five hours. And he demanded $100,000, a white limo getaway car, and a copy of The Widow's Son, which is a, a book on the Freemasons. Good research. So well, that's just from what these uh, news articles found, um, or news articles said. Here's the original news article. Pizza workers can't avoid Noid. Held hostage five hours. I mean, can you imagine What a headlines? horrible article. First, yeah. first of all, give whoever entitled that <laughs> right. uh, article a raise, please. Right. Right. Pizza workers can't avoid Noid. I mean, this, okay, so Kenneth Noid, three years of just being called annoying. And, like, he's not the best. He's always, like, trying to ruin pizzas. And their slogans were just, like, <laughs> hating the Noid, you know? Like, the Noid was this evil guy. Yeah, and that that's what drove this guy who had um, paranoia or paranoid schizophrenia. Uh, paranoid schizophrenia <laughs> paranoid which wasn't great when the police uh police uh chief said in the interview that he's paranoid like, annoyed <laughs> yeah. like got the word annoyed in there and so this is the original article which came out on january 31st next day a man named noid apparently annoyed by domino's pizza <laughs> <laughs> this is the article. I swear you can't make this stuff up. How they spell annoyed? Like properly? They, they spelled sp- annoyed regular. <laughs> yes. oh, they put yeah. it in parentheses. I thought they were going to oh, quotations. Yeah. Oh, that is funny though. It says Kenneth Lamar Noyd, 22, told police he thinks Tom S. Monaghan, owner of the De- the Detroit-based pizza chain and the Detroit Tigers baseball club, comes in his apartment and looks around. That's what he told the police. Investigators believe Noid was having an ongoing feud in his mind with Monaghan about the Noid. So this is where it starts to get a little tragic because he was mentally, yeah, you know, had some problems obviously. And when he was in there holding him hostage, you had mentioned he had had that book, the Widow's Son. Widow's Son. He wanted yep. the book. Right? He wanted the book, and he was going to release a hostage for the book. That ended up not happening. But in the when you're there for five hours, and Kenneth Noid started getting hungry. And of course, he wanted some pizza, a special pizza, specially pizza. Yep. I think like the all meat one. If I yeah, it was the all meat. So, so he had to make him a couple pizzas. Well, <laughs> it, he wouldn't let him use the cutter. I don't no, know that, no. Because you know, he, he, so he had the whole pizzas, and then while he was eating the pizzas, the two hostages slipped out the door. They right? got out. They, the, got they got out of there. It's kind of a funny ending, actually. But here's the oh, guy. This oh. part's funny, not the total ending. No, yeah, yeah. This part just of him getting away. So here's Kenneth Lamar Noid. Um, damn, I don't know if you oh, saw, I never a saw a picture of him. Picture of him. No. Yep, this is the guy here. I, that's not that's just that's old newspaper articles I found, and then I actually found. So after this whole thing went down, they escaped. He shot into the ceiling two times. That's right. Police came in, got him because he, he was on the line with headquarters. He made him call headquarters. Yeah, and requesting hundred grand. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, and the, the charges. Joking. They're like, there's not a guy named Noid. Kenneth Lamar Noid. Noid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, he got kidnapping, aggravated assault, and theft by extortion. And you'll never believe what ended up happening to him. Here is the news article after getting charged. Paranoid Noid. They got to quit with this stuff. Yeah. You, I mean, even when he, when he gets off on insanity, <laughs> you think that the, the headlines would... Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Paranoid Noid is not guilty due to insanity. <laughs> Kenneth Lamar Noid, who held employees of Domino's Pizza hostage beside, because he thought the film firm, I, I'm not able to read tonight, avoid the Noid ads were directed at him. He has been ruled not guilty by reason He's of putting, insanity. And then, uh, and yeah, I remember. It's not even the shape. Negative. Mentally ill, mentally ill. Did a special effects agency. 